Hi, welcome to the Original Poem Guy. I am the Original Poem Guy. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, today's poem is called At Three-Legged Lake, and it's uh, based on a true story. So uh, this is not uh, fiction. It's a nonfiction poem, if those exist. Three-Legged Lake. The photo album lay open on her bed. The picture offered no clue of her whereabouts. Her mother stood on the porch looking over the peach blossoms, wringing her hands. That older boy was back in town. That much her mother knew for sure. She heard them leaving together around midnight. But she thought it was strange. He had parked around the corner from the house. The wrestling matches or the fishing show, whatever it was, couldn't hold them. The older boy wandered away, but came back soon enough. She was asleep. He looked for a moment at the peaceful young face of the girl on his mother's couch. The phone cord fits so easily between his fingers and around her neck, around her future. He was disappointed when it was over. The flashing Polaroid camera gave her face a spectral glow. Her eyes looked through the lens and up into his face. He slipped the picture into a copy of the Bible that he kept on his desk. The event was less than he had hoped for, but he wanted a memento. He dropped her body at Three-Legged Lake. The cop that discovered the body was squeamish and maybe just a little frightened. The killer had left her at the lake wearing nothing but a phone cord and a t-shirt. He couldn't deny the attraction of her youth despite her condition. He told himself he needed to stop pulling overtime shifts. The cop thought of his daughter, talked safely away at home. He put the call in to dispatch. That was At Three-Legged Lake. I am the original poem guy. Click like and subscribe and go write a poem.